The White House is out with a new blog post about grocery prices and their recent dynamics. Yahoo Finance got a first look. Our own Brooke De Palma joins us now to bring us some of that data. Brooke? That's right. Yeah, well, the White House is out with those five facts about what they say is the latest when it comes to grocery inflation. Now, this comes ahead of the next CPI print set to be released on Tuesday, June 13th, before the market open. Now, the first fact here, grocery prices matter to Americans. It makes up about nearly or more than 10 percent of consumer total spending. And because of that, grocery prices have a significant impact on how Americans talk and think about inflation, saying when groceries cost more, American households incorporate that into their expectations of future overall inflation in the near future. So how they view in future will pan out in the near future. But the good news here is that the Council of Economic Advisors say that prices are dropping what they refer to as cooling. Of course, we know that groceries make up about one tenth of the overall consumer basket. And so on a three-month average, we're seeing grocery prices drop about 0.9% in April. So that's good news. Once again, May data expected to come out uh, next week. And what we also know is that there is now less upward pressure on grocery inflation. We're seeing decline in egg prices. We're seeing decline in produce like fresh fruit. Um, that's driving uh, grocery inflation down. Of course, last month we saw egg prices uh, drop 1.5%. And on three-month basis, egg Egg prices dropped 18 uh, percent, but they're still higher year over year. They're up about 21.4 percent. Of course, that was shell shocking earlier this year when shoppers saw that on their shelf. Now, something not mentioned within the post, but something that Yahoo Finance is tracking significantly here is the price of sugar. We've seen sugar prices see a recent increase. We know that futures are higher compared to a year ago. And when we asked J.M. Smucker CEO, of course, that's behind so many uh, different consumer product goods like uh, Jif peanut butter. They, he did say that right now their view is that we are still in an inflationary environment. So the White House saying that inflation is cooling a bit, but major executives still seeing a bit of sticky inflation there as well. Sticky inflation. We mm. are certainly seeing that. I mean, look, uh, the, although prices have come down, they still really haven't cooled enough. This is a personal perspective here. I mean, look, sure, egg prices are down and some prices are down, but we want more relief. Right. What can we expect? Right. Well, prices are expected to remain higher this year. And in a quote from the uh, from the Council of Economic Advisors, they say looking ahead, the staff expects grocery inflation to continue improving alongside headline inflation, but remain elevated relative to its pre-pandemic levels through the rest of 2023. So essentially through the rest of this year, we can hopefully expect some declines. But prices are not going to go back immediately to what they were prior to the pandemic in 2019. Of course, Dan, we've seen egg mm -hmm. prices uh, see some relief as these U.S. agriculture mm -hmm. industry continues to rebuild the flock. But we're still seeing higher prices, and we just can't get away from that just yet. So one egg instead of two. And a teaspoon one of sugar instead of, instead of a cup. That's right, Diane. <laughs> we're, we're, make, we're making ends meet here. Away. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> our bread, our banana bread is going to be a little different. A little different. Compared Diane. to the pandemic banana bread. <laughs> exactly. Maybe one less sugar than Exactly. Two. That's right. All right. Thank you, Brooke De Palma.